We have a lot of weapons made from Russian drones and rockets. I will not speak in numbers, but a lot of what flew to us returned to them. Sergei Biskresnov is a Ukrainian electronics expert and more widely known as Flash said this. According to this practice, of our of attack of Russia inaudible into Ukraine. They usually, first of all, launch Shahid, and after a couple of hours they are trying to attack us with missiles. So, the reason, first of all decrease the quantity of our missile and missile of air defense and after attack us with ballistic and cruise missile, he adds. In this case, an associated press investigation has found that a high-tech factory in central Russia is creating deadly thermobaric drones which are highly destructive. They work by creating a vortex of high pressure and heat that can penetrate thick walls. They suck out all the oxygen in their path, and have a fearsome reputation because of the injuries inflicted even outside the initial blast site. These include collapsed lungs, crushed eyeballs, and brain damage. But the Russians have another secret weapon. It involves launching a small number of highly destructive thermobaric drones surrounded by huge swarms of cheap foam decoys. Russia came up with the plan in late 2022 and codenamed it Operation False Target. Engineers are manufacturing hundreds of decoy drones that are designed to overwhelm Ukrainian defenses as they try to protect against the new weapon, AP's investigation found. It is intended to force Ukraine to expend scarce resources to save lives and preserve critical infrastructure, including using expensive air defense munitions, according to a person familiar with Russia's production and a Ukrainian source. Neither radar, sharpshooters or even electronics experts can tell which drones are deadly in the skies. AP's investigation reveals that unarmed decoys now make up more than half the drones targeting Ukraine and as much as 75% of the new drones coming out of the factory in Russia's Alabuga Special Economic Zone. The information came from a person familiar with Russia's production, who spoke on condition of anonymity because the industry is highly sensitive, and a Ukrainian electronics expert. The same factory produces the particularly deadly variant of the Shahid unmanned aircraft armed with thermobaric warheads, the person said. In October, Moscow attacked with at least 1,889 drones 80% more than in August, according to an Associated Press analysis which tracked the drones for months. During the first weekend of November, the Kiev region spent 20 hours under air alert, and the sound of buzzing drones mingled with the boom of air defenses and rifle shots. On Saturday, Russia launched 145 drones across Ukraine, just days after the re-election of Donald Trump threw into doubt U.S. Support for the country Since summer, most drones crash, are shot down or are diverted by electronic jamming, according to an AP analysis of the Ukrainian military briefings. Less than 6% hit a discernible target, according to the data since the end of July. But the sheer numbers mean a handful can slip through every day, and that is enough to be deadly. Russia and Iran signed a $1.7 billion deal for the Shahids in 2022, after President Vladimir Putin invaded neighboring Ukraine, and Moscow began using Iranian imports of the unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, in battle later that year. Soon after the deal was signed, production started in Alabuga. Sergei Biskrestnov explained that the thermobarics were first used over the summer and estimated they now make up between 3% and 5% of all drones. For Russia, the benefits are huge.
Ну, в кадре был, да? Термобаричная боевая частина ударного беспилотника <coughs> Шахет 136 через яку туди заливается термобаричный склад. Это, зазвичай, работа по закрытых помещениях. То есть это могут быть будинки, объекты инфраструктуры. То есть это те объекты, урожаются, которые находятся не на открытой местности. Это, зазвичай, должны быть закрытые помещения. Зброя эта развивается, развивается очень динамично. Ну, подивіться, нічого не треба говорити, за фактично два з половиною, майже три роки, зміна шести бойових частин з різним ефектом, який вони створюють. Змінюється, крім того, навігація у них, змінюються інші речі. Ця зброя розвивається дуже динамічно, ми від них абсолютно не відстаємо, навіть у нас є більші і кращі досягнення. Просто, что касается такого виду ударных беспилотников, она у них просто набагато массовая. Дуже много. Я не буду озвучивать в цифрах, но дуже много того, что прилетело до нас, повернулось до них. Also, it's like the small copy of my machine. The special created develops this for our uh, soldiers, our forces, and, and centers. So I'm trying to help to uh, very interesting things. I'm civil, but I'm three years, 24 uh, hour non-stop work for million transmitting location. So in the other guys work. One guy is uh, trying to catch the signal, recognize the signal. They say, okay, education is my, uh, my professional. And after I work many, many years in mobile communication. According to this practice of our of attack of Russian Federation into Ukraine, they usually, first of all, launch the Shahed. And after a couple of hours, they're trying to attack us with missile. So it's the reason, first, first of all, decrease the quantity of our missile and uh, missile of air defense and after attack us with ballistic and uh, cruise missile. But the 10 kilometers it's quite normal distance and I am trying to put my cars somewhere in the forest, uh, especially at night. Uh, I think the biggest part of uh, Russia drone produced in Ilabuga. It's uh, including the special R&D center that trying to create new warhead for Shahed they develop new tactic, new strategy, how they use uh, Shahed in Ukraine. 